Are we headed for a reverse balloon? Hi, I'm Tom Days with EXP Realty, and I have Johnny Jennings from Made For More. How are you doing, Johnny? I'm great. Thanks for having me, Tom. Can you explain what a reverse balloon is? Well, great question. So what we're seeing now is just an extraordinary pent up demand. A lot of sellers have a very low interest rate mortgage. Their loan is, say, two and three quarters percent. And so they're stuck. They don't want to go out and buy and pay six and a half to seven percent. So they're sitting tight. Well, along at the same time, a lot of buyers are waiting on the sidelines and they're waiting for interest rates to come down. So we have a historic demand and it's definitely once they reduce the interest rates, then it's going to be a tsunami. Great for explaining that, Tom. Hey, let's let's take a look at some of those numbers. So the first chart we're going to throw up here, this first chart shows the inventory. So although we are at historic lows, you can see that the numbers are rising. In January, there were about 2,008 homes for sale compared to 2,272 homes for sale in July. That's a 13% increase. So we are trending upwards. On the next graph, we'll take a look at the price per square foot. So in January, the average cost was $308 per square foot. And that number has jumped all the way up to $336 in July. So again, a $28 increase. So values have definitely been increasing substantially. And on this next graph, we'll see the average list to close ratio. It has increased from 94% in January to 99% in July. In other words, homes are selling for 99% of the original list price. Last but certainly not least, this graph right here shows us that there is currently 1.6 months of inventory. One to three months is a seller's market. Four to five is considered a neutral market. A neutral market and any, anything over five months of inventory is considered a buyer's market. So as you can see, we are clearly in a hyper seller's market. So all that being said, Tom, what does this mean for buyers and sellers? Well, if you're a buyer, there's still opportunity. Yes, interest rates are slightly higher, but with the values going up, the buyers that are willing to get off the fence, make an offer, purchase a property now, they're able to take advantage of getting a good buy and getting into a great property, and they can always refinance later. And if you're a seller, homes that are priced right because there's such a low inventory, we're seeing multiple offers and even bidding wars. So it's a great time for a seller to take advantage of this hyper low inventory market that we're in right now. So if you're thinking about buying or selling, we've heard, helped over 7,500 buyers and sellers. We'd love to help you. Just please feel free to give us a call, 855-TOM-DAVES, or go to tomdaves.com, and we'll help you every way we can. Thank you so much, and thanks, Johnny. You're welcome. Bye See you, Tom. Thank you. Bye now.